Okay, for this video, we're installing the armor protection for the front lip. Um, before I do that, quickly wanted to show you the other armor options as well. We've sort of been working on our range and trying to get everything done. So this, hopefully you can see this in the light. This is on the front bumper, of course. Working our way around, we have the, um, the wheel flares or wheel arches. And we come down to the rockers, have it on there as well. And then, of course, on the back, we have the rear bumper too. So for this one, we're sort of working our way inside the truck now. So we're going to start with the front clip. Probably next up is going to be the mess in the back here. This trim really doesn't look good for any length of time. So these are going to be big pieces, but we want to try and get that covered too. But for this video, we are going to be doing the front lip. We also have our solar shift tint on here. So this is UV active, so it's not particularly sunny today, but you can see uh, we have the purple option. There's also a gray option, um, but at night it's completely clear because it's UV activated. So you can see I've got the front lip installed. We're going to reset this in a second. It sort of protects this delicate load area. Um, again, a lot of the trim on here is fairly easily scuffed. This is kind of scuffed up already. But all you need is, of course, some shop wipes just to clean up the area, probably some isoprop alcohol or just something to strip off any uh, plastic treatment you may have put on here. Um, and then in the box, we have our usual set of accessories. So we have a squeegee. You barely need it for this, but it helps. Then you have the actual kit which looks something like this. And then of course the instructions, which, which lead you here anyway to this video. So um, I should say we send all of our products, our armor products in a roll normally. So if they're very curled, when you get them, just let them sit for a couple of minutes, they reset very quickly. So no issues there. Okay, with that said, let's get reset and get installing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just wipe down the target area with some cleaner, as I mentioned. You can use anything. I use isoprop because we have it lying around. You can also use just soapy water. Um, the only advantage of this, of course, is it flashes off very quick, so it dries very quickly. But you just wanna make sure you've got the area clean. It doesn't need to be completely, um, uh, you can, it's okay to have a few little specks of dust or whatever on there. You know, this plastic inherently att attracts dust because it's kind of staticky, but don't worry about that. And then we're gonna take our first piece. So. Uh, fairly obvious orientation, but um, this little notch here is what kind of wraps around the central latch. So this is your right piece, and then this will be your, your left piece, which is what we're going to start with. So just peel it back. And then the only reason you need to watch any of these videos is really just to get your alignment points, because there's, a, there's, a, there's some deliberacy to the design so that you can easily get this lined up first time. So over here, we're looking at this corner and we just want it the other side of this radius. So we don't want it over here because it just won't sit straight or won't sit down for too long. So what we're looking at, hopefully you can see that, is just getting it just over the side. And then we want this obviously nice and uh, uh, symmetrical to the opening. And then looking at this end, it should just sit in exactly the right spot, which is there. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a squeegee, finalize this top surface first. Nice and easy. And then I tend to just use my fingers. You know, it adds a little bit of uh, friction and heat and just kind of really rolls it nicely over these soft turns. Obviously you can finish off with the squeegee and you want to, but it's really easy to install that way. And then same for this front piece. Obviously we've got a little bit of a tuck going on here as well, but not too bad. Squeeze that down there and then get the squeegee to, to finish off. And there you go. So we're, we're protecting all of the, the vulnerable areas just by doing that. I'll do the right piece real quick. Obviously it's a repeat of this. Okay, so we've already cleaned it. So I'm just gonna peel this off. This is such an easy product to work with. It's just really, really good. Okay, so lining up on that same spot, just trying to get above the, the turn over here. And then, oops, let's get it just a little bit closer. You want to be about um, a millimeter or so off of the, off of this, this edge here, but make sure that's straight, which it's not. It's 
just got a little more time. It's very tacky, but you can't, and as you can see, I'm doing this in sunshine, which is definitely not ideal, but um, just make sure that's straight. And then over here, if it is, that'll just lay down perfectly. If you see any kind of ripples in this section here, something's not right, just put it back and go again, because it just means we don't want to have the, uh, the armor sort of pre-stressed. You can squeeze everything out, that's great, but you don't want to have to do that because it's, it's designed to just lay flat straight away. Okay, same thing, roll this over. Squeegee that down. And there you have it, as easy as that. Thank you for watching.